Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Mate, we... Can I say, we're going to be honest with you. We wrote you off, mate. We thought you were no chance. I wrote myself off. Oh, <laughs> mate, a couple of weeks ago, you were paying like 20 bucks. We had Maddie Preston in here, yeah. and we're going, Maddie, what's going on? All the best chefs around the world are males, but the females seem to be taking out MasterChef. And he said, oh, dude, don't write off the fellas yet. 20 bucks? You should have taken that as a sign and oh, got on it. Aren't they great aren't odds? They're great odds. Mate, last night, I mean, the, um, what was it called? Gay Time Goes Nuts. Gay Time Goes Nuts, Which yeah. just looked, I mean, I was saying to you just moments ago, when, when they presented it and showed what was involved and everything uh, does the panic set in there or when you go back to your desk because I thought uh, Julia I mean we saw what happened when she was trying to roll them and they were too cold and they cracked yeah. I mean the nerves must have been running pretty high the panic for me is at the beginning when you look at the dish mm. you think how how's this going to happen I can't cook desserts at all and I'm faced with this thing that's going to take me three hours to construct when I get back to my bench, that's when the nerves go. Um, I tend to just chill out yep. and have some fun with it. So, Mate, how many recipes, while you were on MasterChef, did you make up yourself? Because I've always wanted... Every single one. Are you fair dinkum? Man, I didn't cook one thing on the show that I'd cooked before. Not one. Oh, so how much wow. cooking had you done, Andy? Because going into it, you must have thought, well, I'm, if I'm entering, then I must think I'm all right in the kitchen. Yeah, um, look, I thought I was all right, and then I got into the competition, I went... <laughs> You're not all right. You got some work to do. So that was probably a good thing for me because I, I realised at that point that I really had to work on it. Uh, I studied a lot. I, I read a lot of books. Um, so that helped me. Every everything that anyone threw at me, George, Gary, Matt, even the other contestants, I just soaked it up. So so what? What, so yeah. what is your signature dish then? What do you um, think is? Well, after last night, it's a fisherman's bloody basket, isn't <laughs> it? Wasn't that great? I think I'm going to be asked to cook that one a few times. So. Did you think, uh, Andy? Here's a question because and they've spoken about this on MasterChef before because the guys love the steaks that get served on the show. When you went fisherman's basket. You must have known I'm serving a fisherman's basket to three Aussie blokes. Yeah. This it, isn't a bad bet. Yeah, I thought once I, I went into the pantry and saw all the seafood, it clicked and Bang. I thought, yeah, this is going to work. Tight lines. Yeah. But, but what, is, uh, what is your signature dish, you think? I mean, what, what would be the one, if you had to cook your best dish for us now, what, yep. what's the one that you'd be confident with? We had a challenge uh, in finals week, the yep. night before the finale, actually, uh, where we got mentored by a three-hatted chef. I was Mark Best. And... Um, he, I, I did my signature dish there. It had to be a three-hatted dish, and mm. it was um, confit ocean trout. Yep. Uh, with yabbies, yes. I did a yabby oil, great, uh, and a and a pea mousse, so. and that was amazing. Yeah, apparently it was sick. So. Andy, so what? So you were a Sparky. Yep. What? Oh, you've won Master Chef. What's the next thing? Are you getting offers already? What's happening? Um, the offers haven't started yet because obviously. Oh, I was still in the house. Yeah. So, Do you want to become a chef? Um, look, it's it's definitely an option for me. Um, I, I don't want to pigeonhole myself to anything yet because mm -hmm. I, I obviously I haven't got any offers. So... Um, Benny and I are pretty keen to do something together because we work better and we have so much more fun. Yeah, Benny's when we great. Do, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a top bloke. What if you did something, Andy? Like, here's a business Would idea you move for to you. Tasmania with Benny? I don't think I could do <laughs> it. No, no, that no. place is an icebox 24-7. Yeah, it's seven, cold, so, isn't it? Yeah. Andy, here's, you're, the ultimate, you're the ultimate man, right? This this business is called the ultimate man. The ultimate man. Right, where you turn <laughs> up going? to a house, right, and you're, these ladies have organised you to, to do stuff at home. You do the tradesman work yeah. and then you cook dinner and you leave. Wow, Sounds good. Good the idea. ultimate yeah. man. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah.